Hi there and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Detector Series. Today we're going to be looking at the RKI Eagle and let's get started here. We'll talk about what parts we need as we get it started up. Just press and hold the power button until you see some lights come on. Let go of it. It'll beep at you and start going through startup procedures. Okay, the other things you're going to need, you're going to need some tubing. You're going to need a demand flow regulator. You can tell it's a demand flow because there's no knob on the side that's going to allow you to turn it off and on. It means it's actuated by a vacuum. When you pull vacuum here, it opens the valve. And the next thing you're going to need is the cal gas. Now the normal mix for an RKI Eagle is 25 parts per million hydrogen sulfide, 50 parts per million carbon monoxide, 50% LAL methane, and 12% oxygen. Now you can see the values that I've got are a little bit different here than what you normally see. But that's because we blended the gas here. I've got actual values here instead of the nominals. It's still within the nominal value range that you normally have for your range of tolerance, which is just real close to the 2550. A lot of times when you look at gas cylinders and they say, yes, it's 25, yes, it's 50, yes, it's 50%, yes, it's 12. Actually, the values are more like this inside, and they just don't put them on there because they don't want to freak anybody out. So, let's get started here. And see, second thing I have that may be a little bit different from what you have as well is I have normal tubing here. I don't have the little metal fitting on them. So I'm going to show you how to do both ways, and there's a, a trick you can use to check it if you don't have this metal fitting handy because a lot of people lose it. First thing we're going to do is take the monitor, I'm going to tip it up, this is your input port here. You do is stick your tubing in here. And if it's the right size, you, all you can do is plug it in and you'll feel it stick in there. Now, again, you're going to want to use the metal adapter if you have one handy, but if you don't, this is a way you can make it work. And to check and make certain that it's working, that it's not going to have any leakage, all you do is you put your thumb over the, the end here. You hear that? Went down, gives you a beat. When you let go, feel the suction, flip it back up, and hit reset. And what that's doing is it's checking, making sure there's no leaks anywhere in the system. So now we know we're going to have a good seal. So, next step, we're going to take our calibration gas here, screw in the regulator. There we go. Put that to the side for now. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to zero the instrument. Now you can see the values right now are all pretty correct. We're looking at 0, 20.9, 0, 0. I'm going to angle this up here a little bit more. How's that? Can we still see that? Yeah, maybe a little bit more of an angle. There we go. It's a little easier, right? So, we can see we still have zero values here. We're going to zero it anyway just to show you how. All you need to do, it's very easy on this instrument. You just press and hold the up arrow. It's going to say adjusting zero, hold the arrow key. Reading zero data, and it's going to say release. So that's all we do. It's a real simple instrument to zero, so it makes everyone's life real easy there. Next, we're going to be calibrating it. Now, one thing about the RKI Eagle is you can't use different gas than what they specify for the auto cal, unless you go in and change it earlier in the, se in the setup mode. It's a big pain. So, if you're going to be doing those, you have to do it one by one manually. But we've got the right gas here, so we're going to show you how to go through and do the auto calibration. You're going to press and hold, put your thumb on the shift button and press the display adjust button. So shift, display adjust. Okay. Now you can see we've got auto calibration, we've got single calibration or normal operation. We're going to make sure we go to auto calibration and we're going to hit enter. Okay, now it comes up with the values. You want to make sure your values match what's on your cal gas cylinder. So we've got 50% LEL, check we're within range. 12% oxygen, check we're within range. 25 parts per billion H2S, we're within range, and 50 parts CO, we're in range. So, what we're going to do is get our tube ready in our hand, and then press enter. You can see the values begin to flash here. We're going to plug this in, and just going to begin drawing gas. Now, one thing about the RKI Eagle is that it's not like a lot of the other monitors out there where it has a set time frame where it will go through auto calibration, automatically adjust, and then just say it's done. The RKI Eagle, you actually have to time it. So I've actually been looking at my watch here, we're about 10 seconds in or so. You don't have to time it exactly down to milliseconds or anything like that, but generally you want to let it go for about a minute and 15 seconds. It's the, the best way. If you can do anywhere a minute, minute 15, you'll be fine. You're really just looking for the values to stabilize. We've got about 30 seconds remaining. 
and you watch here, see how the numbers aren't exact? It's not exactly 48, it's not exactly the, the 50. That are 12%, 26.5, and you notice these values are all extremely close to what we got on our cylinder here. Might be just a little bit off, but that's okay. Got about 10 seconds remaining. And now we're just gonna hit enter. So you see this button right here? Press that. Values will stay for a second and it'll say end. Once that's good, detach your hose and go down to normal operation. Down to key twice and then press enter. It'll usually go into an alarm here, sometimes, sometimes not, depends how much time you gave it. But we can see our values are dropping right back down. Okay. And now we're down to 0, 20.9, 0, 0, and 0 again. So that's how to calibrate the RKI Eagle. If you guys have any questions on this or something goes wrong or cal gas value isn't correct, feel free to give us a call. Our phone number is 734-956-0539. Or you can send me an email. It's My email address is james at idealcalibrations.com. And you can visit our website for any more information. Our website is www.idealcalibrations.com. And we've got a bunch of information up there like, you know, cal gas values, part numbers, etc. So thank you very much. You guys have a great day and be safe out there.